So I've been thinking about doing a project car for quite some time now. Um, been watching lots of lots of videos on YouTube, some restorations, uh, some I guess rebuilds and whatnot. Uh, I wanted to give it a go myself. Um, I've got a how did you stone this R33 sedan? Uh, I've got it resprayed, tore it down, but I've always wanted to do a proper restore on something. Uh, so I've been thinking about a Commodore just because. Uh, just pretty cool, like put a V8 in it. Um, so I ended up buying this VC Commodore. Uh, it's me picking it up on the trailer. Um, not really much to say. The VC uh, had no interior, no engine. Uh, had a little bit of rust, as the, uh, the owner said. But here, 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 here. Here. Oh, and here. Let's not forget here. And here. And here. So as uh, you can see, there's uh, quite a quite a bit of work that needs to be done. So let's tear through some photos. This is one that's getting dropped behind um, my tow truck. I uh, started pulling it down pretty quickly. Um, found a bit of rust. That was after I removed the rear, rear windshield. Um, yeah, it's me still pulling it down. Uh, Move it to the other side of the garage. Put on jack stands, started stripping it down even more. Uh, I started, oh, this, is, this is all on the car dolly I made. And uh, you see that next photo, so that's the car dolly I made for it. Uh, mounts to where the K frame mounts and then the rear suspension. That's it, ready to go. Um, Alright, this is, uh, these are the rust repair panels I bought. Rest bears, so you get the front lower window, or scuttle pan cowl, whatever you call it, uh, rear, rear lower window there, there too. Bit of rust to that, so got that to repair it. Uh, driver's side rear quarter, a little bit of rust there. Um, boot floor, uh, we'll see in the uh, later, and there's a spare wheel well as well. Um, Yep, going around to look at the rust, so you'll see, yeah, it's the rear quarter, a bit, bit banged up. Uh, thought maybe I'd have to get a new panel, but you'll see soon that that's not the case. Um, so yeah, it's the real car on the car dolly. Bit of a pain to get on it, but it's definitely worth it if you, if you plan on doing a proper rebuild. It makes it so much easier to, to move it around. Um, not having to stuff around with, with jack stands and rolling jacks, so yep, this is before it gets sandblasted, and you'll see it's sandblasted in a second. So I've got the car back from sandblasting now, so I'll go, go through the car. So it came back pretty good, um, didn't find any more rust than I thought. Uh, all coated in two pack epoxy now, so you'll see a few. Uh, it looks pretty good here, I'm ready for it to focus. So no more, no more rust than we found, so that section in there, we knew about that. Yep. Uh, a bit down there, see if I can get it in focus, so it's not too bad. Then the battery tray, and then underneath the passenger headlight, a little bit in the front driver's headlight, but not too bad, and then a little bit on the radiator support there, it's probably going to be hard to see. So around the windshield, it's not even too bad. So around, around the bottom like we knew. But it's not, not the end, there's a little bit over there. Um, as for the top, there's like not much up here. Like a few pinholes, oh, a few pinholes here and there. I don't know if they'll be best to braze them up or whatever. Um, Driver's door is probably the worst door. I got a fair bit of, a fair bit going on down here, and some of them came through this side. Floor's not too bad. And let's see if I can focus. It's only really what we already knew. A few holes, a bit. It's a bit cheesy around the rear seat. Probably have to get a section lap welded in there. 
bit there. This is only in this section though, so it's not it's not the end of the world. Um, still that little bit along there. Like a few a few spots in here. Nothing crazy. Uh, then under there and here, but I'm really impressed with the two part pack uh, two two K two K epoxy. The roof. Uh, it's probably not gonna focus. It's gonna be way too bright again. I've recorded this a couple of times and it's just getting washed out. Anyway. Um, yeah, along the, along the boot, it's not too bad, uh, yeah, down here, that's not too bad, inside the boot, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but, I mean, it's just, just this bit here, Um, and then that hole, that's obviously still there. Uh, the spare wheel. The spare wheel carrier is not even that bad. Uh, a little bit in that corner there. Um, and then along the back. So overall, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Obviously it's in, in sealed epoxy now, so it's not going to rust any more than it already has. So I'm trying to do it right. First time, bought a good car. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with how it's turned out. I'm just gonna need a new bonnet at some point. Have to figure out what engine I'm got and what to put it in and whatnot. There's a bonnet, but it's a bit rusty and don't know if it's worth saving it. So um, but yeah, pretty pretty happy with how it is. Uh, I guess stick around for the next video. Maybe we'll have some rust repair done.